All right, welcome back. We are in the last week of December 2023. Uh, this video will be a quick CPU mining profitability update. All right, let's just jump into it. Uh, Bitcoin is now, as of December 29, we are at 42,600. It's been bouncing between 42,000 and 43,000. Um, yeah, so there you go, ETH. I don't care about ETH. And I dump my Litecoin stuff in that I swapped it all to Bitcoin because I just got so sick of, I just call them shit coins now, everything but Bitcoin. That's where I'm at. Why? Because uh, remember the number 430, April 30th is uh, around the time of the Bitcoin halvening coming. And before that, the Bitcoin ETFs will most likely, will most likely, just my guess, be approved by the SEC. Remember, they're all one big club. They're all buddies between Vanguard, BlackRock, and the SEC. So I'm sure they're going to approve their buddies' uh, Bitcoin ETF and open that up to the conventional investors and maybe drive Bitcoin even higher and mass adoption. We will see. We just don't know. All right, let's get on to it. All right. As you know, I mostly have AMD Ryzen 9 3900Xs. So if I go to the nice hash calculator, or I go to what to mine. Well, what to mine doesn't have CPUs, so I won't go to what to mine. Let's just go to the nice hash. Oh, profitability calculator. And you've seen this before if you watch my dumb videos. Uh, put in your electricity cost. Put in your device. It's all pull down. Easy peasy. Righto, righto. And then hit the old calculate button. Calculate. Calculate. And look how bad it looks right now, guys. Definitely down from Thanksgiving where it was probably about two bucks, 150 to two bucks profitability. Right now, before electricity, it's 91 cents. Paying the power company, it's 27 cents. So I'm making 64 cents a day, 31 cents, 31 cents, $31 uh, a month. So, I mean, it's not what it was a month ago. It just shows you how this crap fluctuates with hash rate and profitability. Uh, it goes up, it goes down, it goes sideways, and it does nothing at all. Yeah, there you go. You've heard that many times from the other the other Bitcoin crypto channels, which I just can't watch anymore because again, it's all it's all just speculation. It's all speculation. Hey, I own Tesla stock. It's not paying a dividend. It's not giving me crap. It's down fourteen percent from when I bought it. I'm holding it, but I'm starting not to believe in Tesla as much. Just seeing how EV vehicles catch on fire. Lithium ion is a thermal runaway. If you want to be impressed by the dangerous power of a uh, ion batteries, look up thermal runaway on EVs. Holy crap. It'll scare you. You will not want to be parked near an EV or have it parked near your house. It's not good. Anyway, that's a tangent. That's another video. All right, let's go into the uh, profitability. Yeah, not looking good. But again, for one CPU running minimally and not chewing much power, again, the Ryzen 9 3900s burn about, let's just go high, 90, 90 watts, the CPU. You know, add on the motherboard and that. Yeah, let's, all right, 100 watts, big whoop. Uh, freaking GPUs were burning, what, more than that, double up to, man, 600 it depends what card you have. They, those little bastards would suck so much power, generate so much heat. Uh, it's just unbearable. I do not miss GPU mining. I'm sorry. I got into it for a year or so, made some money, uh, made some money in that I held Ethereum, lost a little bit in a stupid scam thing. I'm so stupid. Never send your crypto to an address unless you think about it and verify the address. Double check, wait 20 minutes, write it down, double check again, and have someone else double check for you. Once it's gone, it's gone. So lesson learned. Yeah, dumb Jim. Dumb crypto Jim. Don't be so stupid. Yeah. All right, where are we at? Let's go over to what you've been waiting for. Yo, we got six rigs running. Everything is a 3900X AMD. And one is a 3950. And the hash rates, let's just see. It's probably off. About 11. I, I fluctuate between 10 and 12. The 3950, I think it's this puppy right here. It goes up to 13 to 14 sometimes. And he's, you know, he's more juice. He's more power. He's uh, he's definitely making a little more more uh, more hash there, more power. I mean, what do you call it? More profitability. So we're at a measly 454 a day. And I'm still hovering about 267. It just, again, it fluctuates. The number of Satoshis is all I care about. 
0.006. It used to say 0.004 last week. Now we're at 0 0.006, and that is all. This that is all matched to the current spot price of Bitcoin. So 267. If Bitcoin goes up to 34, 35, of course, this fiat value here is going to go up right here. Right. Gotcha. Well, that's all I got. So it's down. It's definitely down. But the fact that the CPUs do not draw that much electricity, I just leave them on. It actually heats the room up a little bit. It makes it a nice, comfortable feeling in the wintertime. So this is all good. It's all fun. It's all for entertainment. And it's all just a hobby. Again, I have not bought and bought. And, is that a word? English hard. I went to public school. I have not purchased any new hardware. I think all I purchased was some um, thermal paste because I thought the CPUs were burning a little hot. They might have needed new thermal paste. No, I just had to lower the voltage via the AMD Ryzen Master overclock thing. And that lowered the temperatures by like 10 to 20 Celsius down to nominal conditions where I didn't have to worry about burning out, burning down my house. Yeah, you got to watch this stuff. If you're mining, man, do not careful with the overclock, especially on GPUs. Check your cables, check your wiring, make sure they're not melting or burning at the connections. It, it's not good. It's not dangerous. I don't even know if your insurance will cover if you had a mining rig in your house and you burnt your house down. You got to watch that. Check your insurance, even if it's in a shed off property, you know, outside your house. You got to be careful. All right, that's all I got. Profitability is down. Let me know how your numbers are doing. Are you doing GPU mining? If so, what are you mining? Because when I put in a 6600 for profitability, it's less than a CPU. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on. A lot of hype, a lot of FOMO for about a week or two, and now it's kind of back down to normal. People are probably dropping off, going, eh, I'm not making any money. What am I doing this for? But right now, in my little nice hash wallet, there's 0.006. Bitcoin, it's going to stay there until it gets a little higher. I'm not moving it because you got to pay fees to move it to my wallet. I'm not ready to do that yet. Maybe in the new year, I will do it. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll keep you updated. Uh, if anything changes, hopefully profitability will increase over the next couple weeks. All right. I'm out.